May recalls the first time she heard of her foster son, Leslie. We had bought this house, and some neighbor come up here and said, are you called Miss Lemke? I said, yes. He said, well, there's a call here from a hospital about a baby or something like that. So I went down and listened, and they said, uh, you're the only one that we could think of calling. Said you worked with these kind of children and everything, and we have a baby here that's going to die. And when I saw that poor little thing with its eyes out and everything, I took it. Until two years ago, Leslie was unable to even talk. All his life, he's had great difficulty controlling his muscles. He can barely manage to dress or feed himself. Leslie is severely disabled, but there's something very special about him. I said, this boy can't stand, and I'm going to drag him around. I said, so as he feels what I'm doing. And he was getting on for 10 and 11 years old. And he, he was still so tiny. And uh, I stood him by the fence, and he moved. And I saw him go like this. I said, come. Come on, baby. I says, come on to me. Because to me, he was just a baby. That's all he looked like. I said, come on, do another step. Just a step. Come on, walk. Come to me. And he took another step like this, you know, all shaky like this. And he stood like that. Yes. Yes. Another thing May did right was to buy Leslie a musical instrument. It was a, a second-hand piano. And I put <coughs> it in there. And each night I would go in and ping, ping like that, you know. Just me, I'd be doing that. I wasn't playing no music at all, just going up and down like that. And he was around. 16 years old. He couldn't talk or walk or anything. And uh, we went to bed and uh, we heard music. I couldn't believe it. And I said to Joe, I said, did you leave television on? And he said, no. And I got up, you know, thinking I was going to turn off some music. And that boy had got out of that bed. How he did it, I don't know. And he was playing that piano. How and why Leslie could suddenly play a piano concerto that he had only heard is beyond explanation. I said, oh, thank you, dear God, that you've remembered to do something for Leslie. Everybody's beautiful. The first time he sang was the most important thing I ever heard. He was singing and playing piano, but he couldn't talk with us. Oh, 